What is up guys and welcome to another Splatoon 3 weapon rating. In today's episode I will be rating the three Splatanas starting with the one I don't like the most and going up to my favorite. Uh, make sure to you know like the video if you do like it and also make sure to share it with your fellow Splatoon lovers and let's jump in to the video. Number three, the Splatana Wiper Deco. With the bottom one here being at charge and the top one there being just a swipe, their range is about the same either way. This weapon is a three just because it is not very aggressive. It can be used to hold a line where you can place this down and jump to it after you die and start killing people. And even if you die, you get quick respawn on it and therefore be able to get back out there and fight very fast. Whenever you get missiles, make sure to put them out there and go in with them, not waiting back there. Go in with your missiles so that people can get little hits by them and the rest you can do with your Sultana. Uh, this weapon is at 3 just because it's not aggressive and it is still a very good weapon and I actually do use this one often. Number 2, the Splatana Stamper, with top being charged and bottom here being not charged, just a swipe. This weapon is at number 2, and I originally had this at number 3 because I was thinking you can throw a bomb and then swipe and it only gets 95, but I later figured out that you can actually throw a bomb and then if you're close enough to them, hit once, it actually does a 55, which is enough to kill them, which actually makes this weapon extremely aggressive. Uh, Zipcaster also adds to that aggression with the fact that you can zip real close to people, throw the bomb, and attack really fast. It does make it very aggressive, and I think that is something that makes this weapon, uh, you know, really good. I think this is, it would be number one, except for the fact that it is a heavy weapon, and I personally do not like heavy weapons. Uh, but it is a, still a very good weapon and at number two on the list. Number one, my favorite. This bottom one here being not charged and the top one there being charged. This weapon is an extremely aggressive weapon and with all of the Splatanas having great inking skills, this one has a hammer which does add to its aggression because you can stamp in there with that and I think adding special up on this, being able to get the special faster, is an extremely good idea because getting the hammer fast with being able to ink so much adds to the aggression. Also it has torpedo. Torpedo can be used like so to add a 35 hit, but if it gets a direct hit it is a 60. Of course you can get up close and hit with a 45 on this. 60, 45. I think you guys can do the math. This weapon is aggressive, just like the other one that I did before. At number two, Splatana Stamper is aggressive, but this one can also be extremely aggressive too, and the fact that it has hammer makes it even more scary when in battle. I think this one is deserving of number one just because it is aggressive like the Stamper, able to hold the line like the Deco, but it has hammer, which adds to the aggression tenfold. And that is all three Splatanas ranked. If you have any opinions on which one you like best, or your own rankings on them, make sure to comment down below. I love seeing your guys' comments, and it makes me even more happy when you subscribe. Of course, I'm not forcing anyone to subscribe. If you like this kind of video, though, I can assure you that I post very often, and will have lots of stuff that you will enjoy. So make sure to do that, and I will see you guys in the next video.